Hello, Podlings. Welcome to this episode of Jupadre. You may have noticed that I, as a person, have a lot of specific things that I like. Prejudices, preferences. Bleen and Albatross are kind of the same way. And today we go over a list of my favorite brands and products that I like and discuss why some of them and just generally talk about what we like to have. So, go ahead and listen, take pointers if you'd like, but whatever you do, just please enjoy this episode of g -Podge. Hello everyone! Welcome to this episode of Jupadre, the conversational podcast with absolutely no roadmap. I am Jupadre. I'm Albatross17. I am Bleen. And today we are not wearing hats because Jupadre <laughs> forgot his hat. I am so angry at myself because I have a hat that I, I wear in the morning because I'm losing my hair. Uh -huh. and so my head gets really cold. So when I show up to work in the morning and it's 45, 50 degrees, I pop that on, I get in the building, everything's fine. I take it off and then... I'm supposed to bring it home every night. And last week, I left it there like three days in a row. And then I realized it was the weekend and I left it there for five days in a row. So I grabbed it Monday because I, I needed to remember. Then Tuesday, I hung it on the, on the, the rack farther away from the door and I forgot it again. So then today... I grabbed it off of that rack and put it on the rack next to the door so that I would for <laughs> sure see it on my way out. And Dude, you still forgot. No it. joke. I was on the last turn to get to to your complex before I realized what had happened. Tisk tisk. And I I didn't turn around. Yeah, I've left my hat once, so I always leave my hat on my desk now. Ah, yeah. Ah. Yep. So I'm upset. I want my hat really bad, but I don't have it. <laughs> Well, other than that, how's your day? It's going all right. Good. Yeah. We were talking the other day about how I'm I'm really picky about products I use. Oh, yes, we did. We did start that, and then we ended up stopping the conversation. Got something we should talk here, because, okay, you had, oh, that's right, you got your list. Boy, do I. Okay, you made this list. Showing it on YouTube. Like I will read this list. Okay, so the first list is ones that he absolutely loves. The second one is he's like, yeah, they're okay. And the last list, this one, is one's absolutely not. So the first list, LG, Logitech, Sonos, Western Digital, G-Skill, Oris, AMD, Dodge, Sony, Asus, Acer. Oh, according to my sister-in-law, Dodd, not Dodge. Oh, she's <laughs> okay. We have that fight. Um, okay. <laughs> Nissan, Echo, Rigid, Husky, Vader, Paste, Microsoft. That's Paiste. Paiste. Oh, that, okay. Yep, that. <laughs> Peisty, Microsoft, Cooler Master, Maverick, Gillette, Toma? Toma. Toma and Evans. I understand my handwriting is not... No, towards red. the end, it's like, I got to squish it yeah, in there. I did, I did try to squish it in there because instead of starting a second sticky note, I only <laughs> have to keep track of one. Oh, that's... Uh, I needed to get a co-worker's number on my new work phone. So that's what that one is. Oh, okay. What, Blaine? Did you really put Asus on that? On a brand I trust? Yeah. I do. I, and Acer. I, and Acer. Yep. I have monitors from both companies. I have, this is an Acer laptop. Yeah. I have Asus motherboards in three computers that I see, have I built. just personally wouldn't go with MSI. Right. And so, see, what's interesting is... is we'll get to that one. We will. We Kay. will. And I have stories about that. So but do you have any other questions about those particular brands or why or why not or anything? No, I'm going to finish that after we go okay. over your list. Okay. okay. So the one that you're like, yeah, they're okay. I could take it or leave it. Cougar, Google, Corsair. Pause. Cougar is a PC Woman parts brand. Woman that's older and really hot. Stop it. <laughs> it's a PC parts brand. They do peripherals, cases... Coolers and power supplies. Any nerd should know that. Correct, but we don't have only nerd listeners. I think. Cougars. <laughs> Cougar, Google, Corsair, Frigidaire, Troy Built. Is that really how you spell that? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. Chevy, Vizio. Oh, Razor. It looks like Razes. Yeah, it's Razor. Thermaltake, HP, Remington, Silver. Block? Silver uh, back? Silver, silver back. Silver dock? It's silver You back. haven't... 
Look at that, we spelled that. So I forgot the R, so I <laughs> added the R and then tried to put the B back in instead of rewriting yeah, well, it's got it. It's silver oh back. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's my handwriting. Toshiba sound percussion, Linksys Samsonite. And then the absolute not list is Ford, Dell, Samsung, Netgear, Toyota, MSI, Apple, Diamond, Pegasus, Clothes. Yeah, Pegasus ha! Apparel. Ha! And Argent. Yeah. Argent? Yes. Okay. That's a drums company. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I will I'm never buy them that. again. See, because on my list, I don't even know. I'd have to make a list. But I will, I'll tell you going <laughs> off this list. I like Western Digital. Okay. I've got three Western Digital drives in there. Um, LG, Logitech. But I've been actually starting to like Rocat. Yes. I've been trying to, to get out. Um, been trying to get out. Are they so bad? No, I'm not saying they're bad. I just... That was the brand I started with when you mm -hmm. when I started gaming, and now I'm like, okay, I tried what they told me. Now I want to dive in. Now that I know what I'm doing, what what's what, I want to figure it out for myself. Sounds good. Um, Husky's okay. Cooler, I love Cooler Master. Mm -hmm. Yep. I think my computer only has four brands. Yeah, we talked about that the other day. Yeah, I made sure it was great, and I did go with Oris, which is the high end version of Gigabit. Correct. Is it gigabit, gigabyte? It's gigabyte. It's gigabyte. a Y. Okay, gigabyte. Um, I don't care for Go for Cougar. It doesn't bother me. But I will tell you, I'm okay with Dell. Okay. Samsung's coming back. I've never had an issue with Netgear, but you <laughs> always have an issue with Netgear. Every time. And I never do. So I will say that I have some Netgear dumb switches, mm -hmm. and they're fine, but... It actually physically hurt my heart when I bought them because it was all that was available and I needed it that night. So I I personally will try very, very hard to not give Netgear any money because my first experience with them was the, the first router I got. It was, a, it was a modem router combo and it would just reboot itself randomly. It's so bad. When we were streaming, when we were playing games when we were you know watching like conference and all sorts of it would just like reset itself so then i had to go and hold the power button down re you know reboot it ourself power cycle yeah but it that was like every two days Dude, and that, that's annoying no, mm -hmm. like never again every router has to be rebooted once once in a while yeah it just cleans it up do but you know how often every I... two days is horrible yeah do you know how often i reboot my linksys I have never had to re reboot any of my yeah. routers. I've never had to reboot my Linksys. Since I bought this one, I haven't had to reboot it at all. Which, no. and but, it's a net So year. let me take back what I said. Where I said every router needs to be rebooted sometimes. Let me back up on that. Sometimes you will have to reboot an electronic. Okay, I but accept. But every two days is way too much. Yeah, it, so, it lasted probably a month. And we, we said no. And we you took went, it back. That's when you got that Cisco. Not that one. We got a different one, and it died, I think. It got it, it broke somehow. I think the firmware messed itself up, and the OS wasn't working, because it, it wasn't broadcasting correctly. So you have the weirdest luck with routers. Essentially. But this, this last one has been fine. I just plug and go, and you plug and go, and then it goes kaput. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, going off that list. Um, I have my reasons why I go with Apple. Anybody wants those reasons, I will let you know. Mm -hmm. Um, they're pretty, pretty legit reasons. Um, Toyota doesn't bother me. I loved my Scion. That one's a petty reason. Okay, yeah, but you and can... I'm willing to explain that if you ask. You have a good story on that. So on my mission, it was Toyota Corollas. That's like all we drove, mm -hmm. and it was meh, right? I think that I could have just had. One for no reason. Uh, a girl I dated drove a Camry, and she had me drive it because she liked it when I drove. And the Corolla is supposed to be the beefier version of the Camry. Beefy? I don't. Like engine wise, it's got a bigger engine. Is and that really what it so is? So I think the Camry is this is a smaller, co more compact car, huh. while the Cam Corolla is more of a mid-sized car. It's not okay. a full size, but it's mid. And so I've never really liked Camrys because when before my mission, when I was driving around, ev like five times in a row, the person who messed up driving in front of me was in a Camry. And then my girlfriend had one and then I drove the Corollas all through my mission. And I don't like how 
uh, someone had one of the big old Tundras, like the biggest truck they could get in Tundra. Mm -hmm. And when you, when you lock it, instead of, you know, honking or something, it just a beep, beep. And it just, it, w it was like watching the rock come and speak to you like Tweety. And it just, see, that doesn't bother me. It drove me nuts. It's so, so funny. The beep, beep, just it, beep, beep. it hurt my brain. So then after all of that, I get home from my mission, I'm engaged, and my mother-in-law mentions that their Camry is the greatest car and that you, we should get a Toyota, and said, no. And they're like, well, why not? It's a great car. I, said, I don't want it. Well, you should, because it holds a vet. And I said, there's a personal preference when it comes to a car, though, because you got to drive what you like. Mm -hmm. I, so to pause right there. I value people's opinions, but I absolutely hate it when somebody says, you're going to love it. It's such a good one. Mm -hmm. like, there's a difference between saying, dude, this keyboard is great. Like you're giving me your personal, like, like review on it, but saying you're going to love it. Like there's a difference in saying, dude, dude, you'll like the movie. Right. Versus like, dude, hey, how was the movie? You'll like the movie. But versus like, dude, you will love this movie. I'm going to shove it in your face. Like, no, that's what happened with my wife's ring. The lady at Fred Meyer Jeweler was like, oh, you know what? I don't, don't tell my wife what she loves. Yes. You let her figure out what she loves. Continue. So I decided at that point I will never own a Toyota. I already wasn't a big fan. Yeah. But, but no, it's not going to happen now. That's fair because personally I wouldn't buy a Toyota. I did buy a Scion, but it was also a subsidiary of Toyota. Correct. It and was. Lexus is also... Mm -hmm. that's the higher end version Correct. of Toyota and so mm -hmm. I think I would personally I would even avoid those just based on principle but it's a it's a really petty reason why that one's on there but it's why that's I'm okay why. with it to be honest because <laughs> I'm just I have the same way with other car companies Nissan okay. Nissan makes mm -hmm. a reliable car I just do not fancy them I know that you have a big issue with the CVT I don't like a car that doesn't shift right it bothers me. Every time we're in my Altima, you're like, shift! You like it yell at my car. It bothers me. <laughs> I'm not saying it's a bad engine. It's no. a good concept, but I don't like it. And that's great. That's why I just drive you around in the truck from now on. Yeah. In truck. Mr. Truck. Mr. Truck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's the Toyota one. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I'm not even going to go on to the Apple thing. Okay. Um... Because that's just a, that's a long one. Right. That's a long story. That points towards Apple. <laughs> but, yeah. This list, so, you know what, like, if I had to make a list, I'd have to say some of the bigger brands. I, I used to be a giant Samsung fan, mm -hmm. but right when the Note 4 happened, Samsung, please listen, you dumbasses. <laughs> the Note 4 was the best phone. They then came out with the Note 5, fucked it all up. And mm -hmm. I'm going to say, Samsung, you fucked it up. They, no more expandable storage, you dumbasses. Yes, well, we water tightened it. The whole point of going with Android was because Apple, you don't have an expandable storage. Android, completely expandable because you get, oh, I'm going to get a 32 gig and put another 32 gig, 256 gig, right. one terabyte card in it, and you were happy. You were, boom, done. No, they fucked it up like that. I thought it was a beautiful phone. The fill of the, set, the Note 5 was gross. Then the 7 blew up. Correct. And I'm just like, Samsung had a really big issue where they just fucked up. The year before that, they had a washer that wanted to get in its its mm -hmm. final spin cycle. It would spin itself apart yep. and wouldn't stop it. So it had parts flying everywhere, light on fire. It would just tear itself up. And I'm like, Samsung. And then we had the issue at work yep. with the part that we had to replace millions of. So do I think Samsung's bringing it back around? I do. Do I like the direction it's going? Personal preference. Note 4. <laughs> the Note 4 was um, brilliance. Mm -hmm. If they said, Albatross, we were going to make you a Note 4, I, I thought that was the greatest phone. So one of my other beefs, yeah. all of those are correct. Yeah. The exploding phone, the the thing at work, and the, the other this, or the, the washing machine... When I went shopping for TVs, they had... Um, Is this the it, OLED QLED thing? No. It was before that. It I want to say it was HDR or HD something. And Samsung had the SHD something. And, you know, smart branding would be... It would be the Samsung HD whatever. 
but thinking I'm funny. No, it was UHD, ultra high definition. That, you know, when 4K first came out, they had the UHD. It was SUHD, yep. and it's not Samsung UHD. It's super ultra high definition. Oh my gosh, it's like it's like calling yourself, I am Dr. Reverend. Yeah, like, <laughs> super? Come on, man. You, you like Brand it. Call it Samsung Ultra HD. That actually would have been really clever. It would have been way better. I'm going to be honest, the, 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 the QLED bothered me. Yeah? It did, because you had LG who came out with the OLED organic light emitting diode. Yeah. That was amazing. Organic. It really brought to it. No, it, it does it more naturally. Mm -hmm. We That was nice. Then you had Quantum, and we're like, you're just copying them because because it, it it sucked when it first came out. The QLED, yeah, it wasn't as good as OLED. Oh, in my opinion, I think OLED is still superior. Oh, agreed. I have an OLED TV, correct, but I do not have an OLED monitor because LG does not make a 49 inch monitor. <laughs> I think they make a 49 inch monitor. They don't make it OLED though. No, they don't. And so I did go with the QLED. Because that's the best monitor I could get. Because I was like, I'm not going to go 4K right now. Games aren't really run in 4K quite yet. Not yet. You can watch TV in 4K, watch movies in 4K. Games aren't being produced in that. Now, somebody can argue with me on that. Yes, you can upscale. But from what I've, I've done research in, they're, they're not doing that. No, most tests run at 1080p or 2K. Yes. But you, but you will still get a good picture from a correct. 4K monitor. Right, right, right. But you wouldn't want an OLED monitor anyway for gaming because the the whole premise of it is each pixel is its own oh, yeah. LED. You can burn a picture exactly. Into the monitor. So you wouldn't want per se, which is another reason why OLEDs aren't the the answer for everything. Like if you're a big sports fan or someone who watches regular TV a lot, then you wouldn't want an OLED. But if you're a movie person like I am, mm -hmm. where I I'll put up a game or I'll watch a movie, then the colors are extremely crisp. The lines are super yep. smooth. And and that's where it really comes in. But I'm glad you like your Q, your QLED monitor. Yeah, it's pretty good. I really like it. But yeah, that's, that's my thing with Samsung was, first of all, the exploding components and then super UHD. It's, come on, man. Like, <laughs> you had one job, marketing team. Sud. <laughs> That's good. Yes. What do you think, Blink? Okay, so I agree with you guys on most of your points. Okay. The ones that I don't agree with is Asus. You're not a fan, huh? Well, I'm not saying I was a fan of them. I just don't ever use them. I don't have... I don't... Back... I don't have an opinion of yeah. Acer or Asus. Okay. I don't have an opinion. Yeah. Uh, I, I have owned a couple Asus products, as well as my siblings have owned a few Asus uh, laptops. Mm-hmm. And granted, they're not the most tech-savvy people in the world, but in the price range, Asus knows they're not going to be the most tech-savvy people in the world. That's sure. fair. If you're budgeting, Asus is usually Asus yeah. and then Acer. But I was fixing their stuff all the time. Was it uh, also user error? Sometimes. But it was bloatware built into the, pr the product. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And um, just having to reset it all the time and have crappy uh, monitor cables inside the, the latch. I had to take Nick, it completely apart. And you two are on in. the same page as me. You will, you understand the, the brilliance of paying extra for what is going to be nicer rather than this is the cheapest one. It'll do the job. No. Yeah. 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 It's a lot. It's a lot better, right? I agree. Yeah. I, and I, I know that Asus has good products, but they, they in, do have a gaming one. In, yeah. in my Opinion: The vast majority of them should never have been made. <laughs> what is it? Asus Rog? Is that what it is? Yeah, the Republic of Gamers. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Asus Rog. Um, I was looking into that when I was going to buy this monitor, but I didn't like that it was a four millisecond re uh, um, response time. I will say that Asus's high-end gaming Rog monitors do not impress me in the really? slightest. So I'm, no. Oh, I'm glad I didn't get one then. No, the like you said, the response time and they are absurdly overpriced. If Ooh. you compare them to Acer monitors that are the same size, even Dell and Alienware. If and you, well, okay, Alienware is just overpriced no matter right. what. Right. But I bought Alienware, so I can't really say much. <laughs> but that that's uh, that's kind of my thing as mm -hmm. well is I'll, I'll have, if you know what to get from Asus, 
then then you can be happy because I think Asus is one of those companies that their components go well with their components. I can agree with that. Yes. Uh, Toshiba is another company that I don't like. Oh, okay. I've had lots of issues with those. Um, and uh, I, I completely agree with Apple being on the absolutely not list. Right, but we're, <laughs> we're not going into that. <laughs> uh, I don't like Dell also. Yeah, I am. So I know that. See, here's the thing. I have had, let's go about Dell. Come on, let's do it's, it. It's been about ten years since I got home from my mission, and I have used exclusively Dell and HP computers at work. Yes, the HPs have been fine, but every single Dell I have had. Oh yeah, yours is Acer. That's right. This is an Acer. Yep. Every Dell that I have had at work, because again, that's the only. I won't buy it anywhere. Has been absolute sad. My work laptop sucks, yeah, but yeah. it doesn't help that I have a 1.67 gigahertz processor that's a dual core. It's a dual core. Uh, Hyper-threaded, and I'm like, yeah, no, it sucks. But it's a V-Pro. No. Yeah, it it's is nothing. horrible. I had, like, every single Dell. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. Every Dell I have ever used is garbage. And we can actually increase this because Alienware bought or Dell bought Alienware. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, there has been a, a shift in the quality of Alienware. My brother bought one of their, their small form factors and it overheated. You but it's it's not supposed to do that. No, Alienware is supposed to be top of the line. Exactly. It, he had to send it back within a week. I can't I can't argue with you on that, but I will say is we should have had Cobalt Wraith right here. <laughs> he, he will swear by Dell. Right. And which see, is funny. It's just it's it's the whole Netgear thing over again. Yeah. You have the worst luck, and I have I'm like, I love Netgear. Well, and it, it goes even further. We'll call Cobalt again because his computer is full of MSI. And we both don't like MSI. Yeah. I my brother-in-law had an MSI motherboard and an MSI graphics card. And the MSI software would not do the G-Sync. It would not do the color coordination. It would not use the the software designed for the two components that were its own brand. Together. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't work. After he, again, swore by these parts, and then he had that happen, and he won't touch them at, anymore. And I said, I'm not going to bother. I know that Asus works, which is what I bought, and right. I, I branched out with Gigabyte uh, with the Aorus board, and boy, am I glad I did that. Yeah, this but entire build is an Aorus build. And so, just, but his work's great. He has an MSI graphics card and motherboard, Cobalt does, and it works magnificently. Yeah, I remember when we were having that build war, he told me everything he was buying. It's, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good luck, man. He has no and, issues. Zangetsu, before his most recent update, had an MSI motherboard. I helped him build that. I think MSI did a lot better. I think I think they, they had a change, probably an update somewhere where they just went down. Because every company does a change where they, they mm -hmm. try to cut corners or they have somebody else who brings in a different plan and it, it changes. It everything you're all companies have their ups and their downs. So that's Correct. just that's just a flat fact. Again, Samsung just went through one, but you you, you get up, you learn from it, you move on. Right. Samsung's still doing really good. I'm not going to say they're the worst, but they're in my book, they're not the best anymore. Mm -hmm. LG's been on top, which makes me sad to say, when are they going to have their downer? Because <laughs> it's going to be sad. <laughs> it was the chocolate. Do you remember that little phone, the chocolate? It was one of the first sliders. Oh, is that, yeah. Is that, are we going to call that one of their downers? I, I was trying to be sarcastic, but... I, okay, well... Or, or funny, at least. I don't yeah. think sarcastic. I, see, I didn't have one of those. Neither I, did I. I had the Samsung Stripe. Yes, 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 yes. It was, uh, it was totally like an egg. And see, what else is fascinating is I I right now won't do anything with Samsung, but one of my favorite phones mm -hmm. was the Samsung Blast. It was the first phone I ever owned, and it was amazing. Wait, is that the one where you flipped up and you had a full keyboard? Not quite. It was a slider, but it was also QWERTY. Oh, that, okay, okay, yes, that's so right. So it had QW, ER, and then the, the TY was number one. Mm -hmm. And it, like it was a full keyboard, kind of, but it was QWERTY instead of the A B C D E F T nine. Yeah, instead of T nine. And I loved that. It had an enter button. It had a back button. It had. All, it was everything I could wa have ever wanted. Okay, worst phone I've ever had. Sidekick. I was gonna say the iPhone eleven. 
I love uh, iPhone, okay? I'm sorry, that, that, that's on me. But the sidekick. <laughs> the, I, I, so, you had it like this. It was a weird... It was completely weird. What, it wasn't like a normal failing phone. You had mm-hmm. other phones. It was trying to be too... I think it was too smart that it made it dumb. <laughs> Do you remember the sidekick? I don't remember how to describe it. It was so it stupid. Was, so it was... You, you just flip the screen up. Yeah, it was, it was like, oh. kind of... So you'd have like... It looked like a game... You'd hold it like a Game yeah. Boy. And then it's going to... But you're like... But what was the, the, it was the Game Boy Advanced, right? The one that, that turned it... Because the color was tall. Yeah, the like color the was tall. The, the, one that was, the, the one that was wide. Yeah. Yes. It looked exactly like that. Mm-hmm. But you would... You would put you'd your, flip the screen up. Yeah, you would put your right thumb on the bottom and your t- your left index yeah, you, finger you, on you the just, top whoop. and just pop it up. See, I, I would do... I would always just... Wham. Yeah, but then but then you had a keyboard. But it, the, it felt so weird. The, the buttons were really small. Yeah, and the 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 ball. It, it got, did have a ball. Holy it, God, it, it got gunk in it so much, so it always stopped rolling. What well, mine fell out. <gasps> Unlucky. <laughs> I don't even know how it fell out. I don't remember being like, "Where the hell's my scroll ball?" But it was weird. But I remember BlackBerry too. Okay, the Black, BlackBerry. Yeah. BlackBerry. Remember, you either had a Razor or mm-hmm. BlackBerry. I do remember that. What yeah. was that? That was early two thousands, right? Mm-hmm. Two thousand. Three two thousand six high school yep. yeah Man, good yep. times. So Do you remember the, ra- the razor. I remember the Can razor. Come back out with that. An important conversation to have is that Walmart brands of other brands need to be taken to effect. I think that's fair because companies build specific batches. Say, for instance. Uh, a Nighthawk 3600, mm-hmm. they'll give uh, the Walmart a 3600W or something. The, the, they'll re- rebrand it, and they'll pull out a little bit of RAM to make it the $20 cheaper for Walmart. Uh... Or they'll, they, they'll pull out some of the capabilities so that Walmart can be the cheapest, because that's what they want. And I think that's one reason why I had an issue with Netgear the first time I... I bought a router. I can see that. I just go to is, Best Buy for most of my Well, see, and that's where I've gone. Yeah. Because Best Buy... I, I don't feel like Best Buy cuts corners. Not usually. Not in their products. I will say not in their products. So uh, You do pay a bit more sometimes. Mm-hmm. Amazon's pretty good, though. Usually. And no. I have been happy with all my Amazon pra- uh, purchases, rather. Not practices. Amazon practices. Uh, my Amazon purchases, Best Buy... Vast majority have been great. Yeah. Uh, Newegg, I've been very pleased. Yeah, me too. I, yeah, I don't have any complaints about Newegg. No. Or. Nope. And then I was going to move on a little bit from the computer world. Okay. Uh, and say, specifically with cars, I am not a fan of Honda. But I love Honda for their ATVs. And their motorcycles. They make a good motorcycles. motorcycle. Okay. They do. Yeah. See, I've never owned a Honda. Okay, my opinion, consumer, we're not talking people that can just go out and buy whatever the fuck they want, okay? <laughs> For the average consumer, I think that the car company that has just perfected the four-door sports car, can you guess it? Four-door sports car. The four-door sports, sports car. car, it's just perfected. Sports car. Sports car. Consumer, think about that, so more... More realistic to purchase. Mm-hmm. I don't think I know the answer to this. BMW. Ah, yeah. ah! That mi- okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, you can get a you can get a four door sports car. charger. Doesn't feel like a sports car yeah, anymore. It's a muscle car. It's a muscle car, which it's kind it's, of in the sports car category, but it is a muscle car. It's all yeah. so the original was a muscle car. Yes, but I think bringing it to a four door car kind of kind of took a little bit away from from that because they were trying so. to make us. The muscle car, but with a family feel to it. So it's a little weird. It's one of the biggest draws for my wife and me. I'm not saying it's a bad car. Right. I like it. Right. But to your point, sorry, I interrupted. BMW. Yeah. Like, like you're, you're talking how, you know, stuff are made for that. I think BMW branding, they perfected the four-door sports car. Are there others that make a good car? Yes. Porsche, they've got a good four-door sports car. I don't think it looks as good as a BMW does. Probably not. Because a BMW looks so good and natural with the four doors. Is Am I allowed to say I don't like how most Porsches look? <gasps> I think they look weird. I honestly think it a Porsche, it's a personal preference on that one. Okay. It's, it's a, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a preferred taste of... Flavor? N- no, it, it's like... It's like preference. Pre- no. <laughs> Fudge. <laughs> no, it's like when, when you're like... When you're, when you're like... 
Like somebody that likes a certain drink, but you're like, oh, it's an acquired taste. Ah. Acquired taste. It's an acquired taste because um, my dad likes the Cayman. That's the, I think that's their SUV. The crossover, right? Yeah. I, I'm, we'll go with that. Okay. It's, it's, it's the SUV <laughs> portion. I'm just like, eh. I can never decide how that's pronounced, which was a turnoff for me. Is it cayenne? Like the pepper? I don't, I, I don't know. Uh, but I do know that it's actually pronounced Porsche. Correct. But I'm not We're a Americans. car guy. And I'm not a car guy, so it doesn't yeah. matter to me. I'll, yeah. I'll mispronounce that but, all day. But I'll say that, you know, again. I did use a Honda lawnmower when I got home from my mission. That that's, was my job. But that's not a car. Correct. <laughs> but boy, was that a good mower. Like, it, it seems so weird to get specific on a lawnmower because if it runs and it cuts the grass, then it should be good, right? No, no. This... No, the, it, you, you can mm. usually fill when it... Tools? Yeah. Cobalt. Now, see, I never got into cobalt. Husky was on my list, and Rigid I have found to be quite enjoyable. See, my brother-in-law, he, he'll swear by Milwaukee, and I'm just like... Okay. I'm nope. like, Milwaukee's good. I'm like, it's good, but I'm not going to pay the price when I can get the same thing out of cobalt. I've never, I've never had an issue with cobalt. Yeah, and that's great. I, I don't think I've had an issue. I have... Or cobalt ray. <laughs> <laughs> I have Echo, Trimmer, and Edger, and Chainsaw. Mm-hmm. But I don't have Echo anything else. But those are wonderful. And the only reason I, I continued was because I got my, my Weed Whacker. Okay, so this, is, this bugs me. I love my grandmother, but she always gets those stupid little... Look at this cute little tool set. Like, oh. they're like the $5 tool set. And they're like, you, let's say a doorknob. You could do that with your fingers, but it, even that's going to just strip the... <laughs> yeah. The screw is going to strip the bit. And I'm like... She's always, yeah, look, I just bought this because I needed a new one. I'm like, you needed a new one because you you bought a <laughs> shitty tool set. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's just, uh, I'm just like, come on. I have found that my Husky tools yeah. are starting to, to do that. I have messed up a few of my Phillips bits, but at the same time, it's it's a brand I like because the, the bulk pricing of Husky has drastically improved my life because that mm -hmm. was all I had when I first got married. I got two, uh, actually you got one. And then, uh, another friend, I can't remember his tag. Why can't I remember his tag? Rawl. Richard Rawl? Richard Rawl. Okay. Yeah. He, he also got us one. And so that's all I used was, Is this was the same one that got husky. stolen? <laughs> Different set, but same brand, yes. Okay. See, Husky's good, though, because the uh, screwdriver I use in my tool belt at work, yeah. Husky, love it, because I like the ratcheting screwdriver way better than the cobalt one. I mean, there you go. Yeah. So, I mean, there are tools, but I will say this. I think tools have gone down in quality lately, too. Okay. Because Craftsman, my dad said that growing up, he's like, that's all we ever used. Mm -hmm. But now that he's an adult, he goes, I don't feel like they're as good anymore. I've, Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like now they've, they've kind of put like a shelf life on them. Like, no, it's going to die after you see if you buy another one. I honestly feel that way. Yeah, those will last a lifetime. No, they don't anymore. Mm -hmm. My co my boss just, so he's moving. Old boss, he's moving. He just gave me a sentimental tool set because where I'm moving, I don't need these tools, but I want somebody that I know is going to use them and respect them. Yeah. So he gave me a DeWalt set that he got for his anniversary. And mm. they're, he, I haven't actually looked up the dates, but he says they're from the year 2000. And he's like, look, I've never had these fail on me. They, they they look used. Yeah, but I'm just like, wow. I think they, like they still work. I think Dewalt falls in the in the middle category for me because that's what we use at work. We have Dewalt drills and mm -hmm. and screwdrivers and pliers and things, and those have worked fine. I haven't had any issues with it. Nor like, have I. Like the drills we get are good, but I feel like some some. Just going off, not just off a of tool. I think some companies they really do. They they have made um. A device that's gonna wear and tear so that way you have to buy a new one yeah, yeah i do like uh there's a product line i have never bought never used but just holding up the tools i cannot in my right, right mind buy that's ryobi or ryobi ryobi, ryobi. <laughs> I, I picked up one of those and was like i just need need a, ch a cheap tool to get me through one honest, i think ryobi's like, like uh no <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i i I have a Ryobi set right now of uh, drill bits, mm -hmm. like the actual ones that drill holes, um, and they 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 just do they they chip they crack so easy. I'm just like, 
I will never buy those again. When I was shopping to do the tile in my kitchen, I asked, we have, we're doing our kitchen. I need a tile saw. Mm -hmm. This I Ryobi, I went and checked out a bunch for you. Yeah, this Ryobi is sixty dollars cheaper, and it looks like it does the same thing. And the the person at Home Depot said, "How many projects are you going to do?" I said, "Well, I am doing this one. It's a two hundred square feet, I think, if I remember right, probably less. And you know, I might do a bathroom. I want to be able to loan it to my siblings if they need it." They said. You'll want the other one. <laughs> and so what they said was, it will do the job, but then you can't expect it to do another one. And Which is sad. It is sad, but that's why it's $60 cheaper. Just like you were talking about uh, earlier, paying the money for a higher quality product feels better, In even though it run. costs more. Yeah. No, the, but there, and I'll add to that, there is a point when it's like, okay, that is too much. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. So. So that's... That's, a, a that's my skill for right now. Yeah, on I, I could go on this forever. As could I. So here's what I'm going to do. When I write out the description for this, I will post that list mm -hmm. that, that I have put together for myself. I will make sure it's titled my list. If and you text it to me as well, I can upload it on Twitter. All right. No, so we're limited on Twitter. Yeah. We, I can send you a picture of a nice, good-looking list instead of my garbage handwriting. So your wife will write it. <laughs> I was going to type it, but yeah, yeah, my wife has beautiful handwriting. But so at, at this juncture, thank you guys for entertaining that with me. I think we move on to what the F. I agree. Bleen. So do I. Today's episode is brought to you by Virtual Performance. Via the internet, they provide personal fitness training, meal planning, and coaching. Which is important for staying healthy. Virtual Performance will not only help develop your physical strength and endurance, but also your mental fortitude. This will improve your life and your gaming skills. Even the professional gamers have training regiments. That means the rest of us need one too if we're going to get as good as they are. So, find Virtual Performance online at trainingvp.com, on social media at the Training VP on both Twitter and Instagram, or send them an email, info at trainingvp.com. <laughs> okay, so last week we had three nominations for What the F. Mm -hmm. Let me pull it up and let's see. We had What the F Juhadre, What the F Bleen, and Subliminal Messages. Not What the F Albatross. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. <laughs> but the winner Subliminal Messages. Yay! Nice. Bible study and Pornhub. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm going to admit something to you guys. I wanted. Because that one was so entertaining to me, I wanted to find a picture of the Pornhub logo. But you didn't want to look at Pornhub. I did. I actually did it. And when you I... You now did, need to go repent to the bishop? No. <laughs> no, because I specifically did Pornhub logo and hit... That's and what I That's what I did last week. It was like, I was like, I'm staying away from porn. I don't want, I don't want right, that. Right, right, right. And so when I downloaded the picture and I put it on the video to see it, it was only like this big. And so I was like, I am not risking this anymore and so i i tried really hard to get it on there but it it didn't work that's funny i wanted to that's, i promise i wanted to that's funny to be honest you would have been safe Pornhub has a blocker so that it oh thank goodness automatically makes you sign that you're 18 oops <laughs> looks like you just learned something about me <laughs> no it, it if you're in the state of utah it automatically goes stop right you have to click here you you cannot go past it unless you click i am 18 years or older yeah, because that's that's so hard to Tell fake. my wife. I don't care. <laughs> All right. It's been a while since I've looked at So one. then, oh, at well. the Okay, so the, the winner this, was Subliminal Messages, which that was, was you. me, and Bleen. Go first. Okay. So, I didn't really have anything this week, but while on the drive So, over what here, the F, Bleen again? No. <laughs> so, I was turning into your parking lot, and this car that was coming the opposite direction was in the turn lane going about five miles per hour okay, and just kept on driving and then stopped like if the table was the entrance to your uh, apartment complex, they stopped exactly where the mic was. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so In the middle. <laughs> right in the middle. So I uh, had to go past them and kind of almost flip a Yui <laughs> And then come back. 
The worst. So wait, wait, they they were in they were in the main road still. Yeah, in the main road. They were in the suicide lane. In the, okay. The suicide lane. Yeah. And, and they stopped right there. As I get around and back, they had hit their right blinker right after I'd done that and gotten back into the regular lane that for their direction. So instead of pulling off to the side like a human being mm-hmm. at a sidewalk, they stopped in the middle of the road in a suicide lane blocking the entrance to an apartment complex. Yes. And then they just continued As if they were going to turn way. into it, but yeah. they didn't turn I, into I, it. I thought they were going to turn left right where I was turning left coming the other direction. Yeah. Into the house that's over there. Yeah, the house oh, across the street. They, they just kept on going. And nobody was in that lane following them regardless. Over. They could have... People are stupid, dude. People are stupid. People are stupid. We is dumb. We is dumb. Oh. Okay, what do you want to call that? Suicide. Lane. Lane. Yeah. yeah. Suicide lane sounds good to me. Okay, so I actually have something that will kind of add to that one. Okay. Because it happened, um, like let's say ten feet into the complex. Okay. <sighs> this is one of the stories I have, so I'm going to go off of this one. So when you pull into my apartment complex, a lot of people use that. They, they think that's, they, they treat that like a, um, like a, like a roundabout. Yeah. Roundabout. So with, you know, my, to get to my apartment, you come in and you immediately turn right. Correct. Okay. So I immediately turn right. I have gone, my front tires have gone over that speed bump. There is a douchebag. And I'm going to, I'm going to say this in a very way. I am not judging. This is going to sound super judgy. But the guy that was driving the car totally looks like a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a horrible dad. Horrible dad. All right. I have seen him, long story short, I've seen him come out and just start yelling at his son because his little girl's crying. And I'm just like, I've yelled at him. What the fuck is your problem, dude? Your daughter, hey, your son had nothing to do with it. And he's like, I will treat my, I was like, no, no, no. You will not abuse your kid. Your son had nothing to do with that. Don't you dare get after him. Mm. He's a horrible dad. Okay. And I, I threatened him that day. That's a different story because I was Correct. protecting his child from. Anyway, go back. So he was backing out, but what douchebag pulls out of a parking stall? Okay, so you've got parking stall, parking stall. Please go to go to YouTube. So, okay, so this is the part where you where you start normally turning. No, he goes beep and just so he, say his parking stall ends here. Uh huh. Say yeah. Okay, say say this is okay. So he's parked like this. This is where the other parking stall behind him starts. So he goes and just sits there. Yeah. I'm like, what the hell? I didn't blow my horn. Normally I blow my horn. I've had plenty of fights with this guy, and I think he's getting, I'm getting on his nerves, mm-hmm. and I don't want to cause a fight, but I'm like, I'm like this, staring at him. Well, yeah, as you and he's not be. even paying, he's on his phone. Yeah. So he's standing there, but the car behind me, just, you can see that he's in the way from behind me, but they're not patient. They don't even stop. So they come behind me. I stop. They decide to go around me and they're like, oh. so now they're blocking the way. There's me right here and then them right here. And I look at them and I'm like, <laughs> what do you think I was doing? Just stopping here waiting? You can see that car from where I was at because because when you come in, I you're behind me. So I would have been like right here and they would have been like right here. So you can still see that he's right there in the way. Why did you try to go around me? You can't go around him. There's a car on the other side of him that's waiting for this guy. We're waiting on this guy. Other guy blares his horn, does what I do, holds it. Until they start to move. Or no, not even then. I think at that point... You hold it until he's out of the parking lot. No, he had to pull forward and then he backed up again. Mm-hmm. But the dude's still blaring his horn at him. Good. I was because he's so still happy. in the way. It was me in another car. Because <laughs> here's the funny part: it was a Hyundai Sonata. Was it? Oh my gosh! The guy that was blowing his horn. It was, but he has the 2.4 turbo. Ah. So I was just like, okay. I know who it was, and I was just so happy because like, because oh. I was like, I didn't want to be the douchebag because I've already pissed this guy off when I'm. Right protecting his kids when he's being a dick to him right anyway but i'm just like the guy in the in the the lady in the car that tried to go around me I'm like what the hell were you thinking you, i can't go past him you can't go past him you think well i don't want to wait here no. yeah i was waiting for him to get out of my way you can see that mm-hmm. and i can attest Vision from coming into it was that part right at the entrance, right? Because my tires like are right over the speed bump. You it's can perfectly see perfectly visible. You could, and he's it's not, not in a car. Obscure. He's in a SUV, oh a Jeep, uh, a Jeep SUV. And I'm like, you can plainly see it. And I was like, oh my gosh, get up. But mine was, what the f? First off, why are you in the way? Get off your phone. You don't just pull out, sit, stand in the way. 
And next, why are you going around me? So, Bleen, what do I call that? Oops, sorry. Albatross 2.0? <laughs> I like, no. Get out of the way 2.0, I think. Get out of the way 2.0. That's very funny that you guys both had vehicular stories this week. Because it was right there, I had to say yeah, I had, yeah, I was like, I'm with you, man. My other one involved the apartment complex. Somebody's parked right in front of the fire hydrant. Mine right now? That's directly to the right of my truck. Yes. Yeah! And there's open parking <laughs> spots. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous how people do that. I'm like, what the fudge? All right. So, Juhadre. Yes, I have, mine is a very silly one, so my, my parents went on a trip down south, and they, they were doing some hiking in a national park, and, you know, all down there in Zions and Arches, there are all sorts of rock formations and stuff, and I got a text from my dad saying, I'm a little ashamed of myself, with no context. Okay, this is going to be awesome, because your dad's awesome. Correct. So I kind of ignored it, but then I called him. Yes. Did you text him? Wait, wait. Oh, fine! I had to, I had it in my head. You know how when you're like, how do you know that? How do, how do you, you not that? know that? Yeah. Okay, never mind. No. That, that I was, didn't was respond. My bad. I didn't respond, because I didn't know what to do. But I called him the next day, asking about my sprinklers, and he said, So, did, did you not understand my picture? I said, what picture? <laughs> he said, oh, I was in the canyon, so I guess it might not have sent. I said, yeah, it probably didn't, because I have zero picture. I said, oh, well, and then he proceeded to explain to me what the picture was, and guys, it's funny. <laughs> so Are we allowed to see this picture? Yeah, because he sent it to me. I love your dad so much, so... Background of the background of this, we have talked on the podcast multiple times about our experience with Cards Against Humanity and the word that will make any guy giggle. Balls. <laughs> Even right there. <laughs> Balls. I told my dad that story. It was either that or I was going to go, bees? Bees? Because Cards pretty, Against that, Humanity? Yeah, pretty good. But I told my dad that story about the balls thing. Does he giggle? Yes, he did. Yes! <laughs> and it turns out... This is what he sent me <laughs> with that caption that is, of, I'm a little ashamed of myself right now. That is awesome. <laughs> this For anybody that was just looking on YouTube, this will be posted to yeah, I, um, our Twitter and our Instagram. I will also have it show up in the, in the middle of the video. Yes, yes that too. Not only that does it look like that. Erect. Yes. <laughs> he said that the tour guide or the... The pamphlet said that all of the rock formations have names, except for the one that needs no explanation. <laughs> and so he described this picture and how excited he was to send it with just the word balls to me. <laughs> did he say, so did you randomly get the word balls in your text too? No, because he, he was back home when we had the phone call and he resent it. And I heard it come up, but I was driving. And so as I got out and was walking in the parking lot into the store, I saw the picture and I about <laughs> fell over laughing in the middle of the parking lot because that is funny. That's hilarious. I, for the sake of those who will not go to YouTube, Balls. Uh, <laughs> it looks like an erect penis. It just like, with me saying that. It's a rock formation. Right. That looks like that. Okay. Thank you. Yes, it's a rock formation that looks like an erect penis. And it... Holy cow. It's <laughs> really from Pornhub. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> and so I want to call that nomination Balls. Yes. It's just, yeah. it's just funny because now, like, there's a giant, like, innuendo backstory inside joke to that. That's my dad. That's the best part is... It, how many? My dad would never have done that. Well, and that's exactly what I'm trying to say, is I'm not trying to judge anybody else's father. You can judge mine all you want. Correct. I know <laughs> You've already given me permission for that. But <laughs> he's awesome, but in a different way. <laughs> but that, that kind of a conversation would almost never happen. In my experience, would almost never happen. But that is funny. That is funny. So that's my nomination. 
Balls. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so our three nominations are Suicide Lane, Get Out of the Way 2.0, and Balls. So that poll will go up after this episode airs. You can click your vote directly on Twitter. You can send any of us direct messages or an email, jupadrepod at outlook.com. You can post on the YouTube video, message us on Instagram or Alvatross's TikTok, which is updated on the Slink link. Any way you can get us a vote, get us a vote, and we will tally that up for next week. Yes, we will. Thank you for what the F. Today's What the F moment was brought to you by Soza Clothing. Soza Clothing provides shirts, hoodies, hats, accessories, and even game coats. Cheaper than you can find them elsewhere at times. You can even customize the clothing with your gamer tag if you so desire. And the best part is, you can use code JUPADRE to get 15% off. That's right, 15% off. Use code JUPADRE, J-U-P-O-D-R-E, at sozicclothing.co. On to announcements, then. I don't think I have any. Uh, no, I got nothing. Normally, I would bring up something from last week's episode. I closed, I locked my phone with that picture. <laughs> so that's the first thing. Open up and BAM! Yeah. Here's the Earth's penis. Um, <laughs> no, just uh, happy Halloween month, I guess. It is Halloween. Everyone be careful out there. It is what Halloween. It? Here we go. Oh. My kid's not afraid of anything. He really isn't. Right. <sighs> And the rest of the show, Albatross is bemasked. Mm -hmm. I have no announcements. My kid is not afraid of anything. No, I can chase him around with this and he just giggles. I think it's because you exposed it to him really early. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I, he doesn't have a nightmare phase, which is good. That is good. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything else, sir? Well, as parenting goes, I've complained about my kid a lot, so I will say something positive. We finally, for two days in a row, got him to poop in the toilet. Huzzah! Yay! I will say this. As a parent, my opinion... As a parent, my opinion, for those who couldn't hear me earlier, <laughs> I said my son finally pooped in the toilet two days in a row. That is a positivity, because I normally complain about my kid. On a positive note, um, where was I going with that? Oh, a lot of parents have such a different... have such a hard... Strong feelings of what they feel is the most difficult about a kid. I think I will deal with a kid that won't eat. I will deal with a kid that won't sleep. I will deal with a kid that is screaming, yelling, bites, hits, throws stuff. I will deal with that all day. I think the worst thing about parenting is potty training. Accepted. Fuck potty training. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous. But anyway, that's my... That's, is the PSA. That Yeah, that's my opinion though. Opinion. Blaine, do you have any announcements? No. All right. Then I think that does it for this week's episode. Bye-bye. Thanks to everybody who joined us today on Jupadre. We hope you had a great time, and we hope you join us next week. Don't forget to follow us on social media. On Twitter, we are at Jupadre, at Juhadre, at Albatross17, at Blaine with three ins, and at Radar LLC. We also have Instagram. Just look up any of our ats or at Jupadre. Or hit us up on our Slink link. It's myslink.app forward slash jupodrick. Don't forget to vote for what the F. We hope to see you next week, my podlings. Bye.